Welcome to the Art of Living podcast. I'm Zafar Majid and today I bring you another topic which is gratitude. What is gratitude? Many people understand this to be the expression of thankfulness. Yes, that's right. And uh, the other thing is, who do we express this thankfulness to? Well, there's two entities. Number one is your Lord, where we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, who is our creator or the secondly the rest of the creation the people that you deal with it could be your spouse your friends your relatives your neighbors or your work colleagues because if you do not express thankfulness to the people then you cannot express thankfulness to the creator as well so what is it that we are thanking for if we can thank and uh, express gratitude for a whole series of things it could be for the blessings that we have the food on the table the roof over our head the clothes on our body the, the wealth the health everything there's so many things that we can be thankful for and also a attribute that uh, blessing to the lord and also it's the human beings that sometimes are a means for us to get the things that which we are thankful for and there's some great psychological benefits for the person who expresses thankfulness and who has that mindset of gratitude and one thing i want to just uh, um, highlight before i go into those benefits is that sometimes i've read there's sort of books and many sort of books and chapters written on gratitude and authors have written that when you say thank thank for uh, when you express your thankfulness you thank the universe i've addressed this before that's a lot of nonsense because the universe is a creation of the same creator who has created me and you so if we want to thank an entity above or beyond ourselves we thank the lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so get this idea out of your head that you are thanking the universe because what is the universe it's a creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our lord and you know what are the benefits of the person who expresses gratitude and has that mindset where they are constantly thankful firstly you will have a positive outlook in life you will not be of those negative miserable people because you will always be looking at lackness in your life you always be looking at things that you don't have because if you focus on the things that you have then you will be more f- sort of thankful you'll be more grateful you'll be more positive and uh, you will not then focus on the lackness number two it will nurture better relationships with those around you because if you are a positive person and you're always thanking the people and you're always feeling that vibrancy that uh, you know there's so much in your life that you can be thankful for others around you will pick up that vibration and they will be attracted to you because analyze this for yourself do we like being around negative people no we don't the many people who are constantly whinging moaning complaining despite all the things in their lives they are still thinking they don't have anything they think that others are more luckier than them and with that sort of vibrational energy that they give out others feel it and that negativity sort of repels people away from them so if we don't like negative people we don't like being around them then we too should not be transmitting that sort of vibrational energy to others around us we want to have the give out the frequency that everything is fantastic no matter how bad your situation is no matter how much difficulty you are having just remember there is always somebody out there who is worse off than yourself so let's say i mean i'll give you a practical example of this the person who is standing at the bus stop waiting for a bus he looks at the person who's gone pass in a motorbike will say how lucky he is that he has got two wheels and he can transport himself wherever he wants but the person 
in those on those two wheels will look at the one on the four wheels in the car and think how lucky he is that he has a car that can take him from here there and everywhere and he's shielded from the rain and the winds and he's sitting there listening to his radio with comfort traveling with his family i wish i had a car but the one with the average car is probably looking at the one in the bigger more expensive more luxury car the one in the luxury car is looking at the one with a private airplane and thinking how lucky he is he's got an airplane or he's got a she has got a helicopter and i feel so disadvantaged because i don't have these private means of transport where i can fly to anywhere in the world at my own discretion so what everybody is doing here they are looking at the person above them we need to reverse our mindset and look at the person beneath us and then surely feel privileged and thank be thankful for the blessing that we have so the guy in the luxury car should be grateful that his car is better than the one who is driving a, a 500 pound banger let's say for instance and the one driving a car should be thankful that his situation is better than the one who's riding a bicycle and the one on the bicycle should be grateful that he's not standing at the bus stop dependent on others he can get away from here and there at his own will uh, whenever he wants so we need to reverse that psychology and look at the people who are less fortunate than ourselves and that will make us feel even more privileged the biggest problem that people have is they look at the person above them they look at the one who has more money than them the more health than them more name and fame than them and that puts a spotlight on their own life to show that they have very little and they have so much lackness when the rest of the reality is you have so much abundance in your life that even if you were to be thankful to your lord you will not be able to thank him properly and you will not be able to thank him enough for all the blessings and the abundance that you already have even if you look back in history where we had big kings and emperors and queens who had vast empires if they were to come into the sort of from their historical time to this present times that we live in now they will see for themselves how rich we are just based on the amount of food we have in our fridge just based on the amount of clothes we have in our wardrobes based on the luxuries of the homes that we live in now based on the modern means of transport that we have the trains the planes the cars how we are able to travel quickly between long distances and such a short space of time whereas previously when they were relying on horses and camels and they used to take months and months just to travel short distances where we are used to sort of traveling in hours on an airplane journey they will say that we are truly blessed and we are living the real sort of era of prosperity but the people who are living in this era of prosperity they may not feel it because they have not witnessed any other sort of historical state of impoverishment that which our ancestors have felt my own ancestors who have came to this country in the 1950s and 60s told us in the conditions that they used to live in how there used to be one toilet shared by 20 households and people used to queue out in the garden with their own loo roll uh, waiting for that one toilet and now we live in houses with end suite bathrooms and or just even one bathroom inside a house which is not shared with the neighbors it truly is a blessing so what else can you derive what are the benefits you will get by having this state of gratitude there are many more benefits you will sleep well at night you'll have a quality more better relationships with the people around you and you're less likely to be prone to depression and anxiety these are a lot of sort of main benefits of the person who expresses gratitude and the gratitude is expressed not only to god but to the people around you 
because these are the people who interact with you on a daily basis. And if they can see your energy, your positive energy full of gratitude, they will be gravitating more towards you and they will find you a better person to deal with. And we find the more you are grateful for the things that you have, the more you will attract other more things that you desire as well. Because the person who is full of negativity will attract even more negativity. So the word, I see the mind composes of the conscious and the subconscious mind, which is a another subject altogether, which we will deal with at a later date. But just to give you an idea that whatever the mind focuses on is what the mind will start attracting to itself through the blessings of your creator, because that is what you are transmitting out in terms of a frequency. So the more gratitude that you express for all the blessings that you have, the more of those positive things you will attract in your life. So I hope that sort of gives you a little bit of a um, insight as to why we should become more thankful, full of gratitude, because it will only benefit us and nobody else more than anything. So that's why be a, a very positive and grateful person, not only to your Lord, but to the people around you. So keep tuned in for more programs like this. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to our channel for notifications for more character building tips like this in the future. Allah Hafiz.